Right now, the Omicron subvariants, though, are driving up COVID cases here in California. Joining me now is Dr. Peter Chin Hong from UCSF. Doctor, how concerned are you about this past weekend's gatherings and the potential for a summer surge? Well, Noel, I think if you'd asked me a few weeks ago, I would have been more optimistic about having a good July and August, but I think no one expected BA4 and BA5 to kind of keep us at really high levels. So what it is like uh, is like a tank that you have, and in the old days, that pipe will be going out and the water levels will completely go down. But right now we have a tank with a water pipe going out and a water pipe coming in. So it's staying at a relatively uh, steady level. So what these uh, events from the past uh, weekends and 4th of July, et cetera, will do is contribute and continue to contribute to this pipe of cases coming in. Well, I'm going to get uh, a bit personal here. I've just come off of my third bout of COVID-19. I had it back in July of 2020. I had Omicron in January, unfortunately contracted it again just a couple of weeks ago. I have three vaccination shots. I figured those kind of coupled with my previous infections would deem myself very unlikely that I would have gotten it a third time. So now that I have, my question is, what do we know about reinfection, especially when it comes to these current subvariants? Is everyone at risk? no matter what your previous experience and vaccination status? Well, first of all, Noel, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you got it three times. That must be such a bummer, um, but I'm glad you, 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 you recovered. Um, I think in terms of you getting it two weeks ago, there's a chance that you would have gotten either BA4, BA5. We're starting at that point for new cases to be approaching 50%. Of course, now they're more than 60 to 70% with both BA4 and BA5 combined. Mm. So if you did get that, uh, I think you will probably be um, sort of like in the clear for the next month or two or even longer, depending on if there's okay. no more new variants around. Uh, so I'm crossing my fingers that you did get BA4, BA5. I assume so. You know, the symptoms were very, were different from much less severe, obviously, and very different from my infection back in January. I know so many people got it back in January. That was our last um, big surge. One thing I did notice, though, you know, I, I, it was mostly just sinus uh, issues. I, I thought maybe mm -hmm. I just had a sinus infection, um, and I tested myself via my nose several times. And it wasn't until I swabbed my throat that it came up yeah. positive. So is that what people should be doing? Yes, unfortunately, it's not going to be official guidance, but I've heard so many cases. Like just yesterday, I heard about somebody who had five days of symptoms. And on day five, they finally mm -hmm. tested positive in the nose. Uh, but we do know that combining the throat and the nose together, apart from the ick factor, right. would uh, provide a, a, a sooner result. Of course, the other alternative is to get a PCR earlier. But coming back to your earlier question about reinfection, that is the superpower of BA4 and BA5. If you've had Omicron in January or even March, uh, you're still gonna be susceptible to getting BA4 and BA5. Do we know why that is, or it's just gotten smarter, the, the virus I think just it, we, we are getting a better sense actually, and it's because um, the, you know, they're called the escape artists of COVID, the, mm -hmm the Houdini, uh, and that's because the spike protein looks so different even to BA1 mm -hmm. that the front guards, which are the antibodies, aren't recognizing it, but the inside bulldog, which are the memory T cells and B cells, mm -hmm. are keeping us away from the hospital, and that's what happened to you because um, that's what the vaccines do. Even though they're not necessarily great right now until we get an updated one in the fall yeah. at preventing the enemy at the front gate, when the enemy gets inside, it's going to kick it out and you're not going to go to the hospital.